Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I will send to you the Spirit of truth, says the Lord, and he will guide you to all truth. Hallelujah. Spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asked me, Where are you going? Because, But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. And if I do not go, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin because they do not believe in me. Righteousness because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. have to admit that uh, the uh, Acts of the Apostles and the conversion of the jailer is quite a profound moment in the life of the church and uh, it it really speaks that we are in God's hands uh, imagine I just have you know Paul and Silas are literally beaten up <laughs> thrown in prison I mean talk about hopeless and and God steps in and and enables them to be free but through a conversion literally with the the prisoner the, the the prison guard and so i guess for us nothing is impossible with god all the stuff that we do in our work all the stuff we do with our family all the stuff we pray for nothing is impossible with god and if we need an earthquake he'll send it of course, we don't say hurricane real loud, either, <laughs> but if we need an earthquake, he'll send it. So the words of the reading says, Sir, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. 